Happy New Year, Praton too. Right, two pages for you to do today in our student book 79 and our workbook 65. But first, let's just go over what we've been doing in the last week or so. Okay, what we've been doing is, is what is called present continuous, which sounds very difficult, but you'll learn more about this in P3 and P4. But what we're talking about is how do we say what somebody is doing now, at this moment, as we speak, okay? And that is called present continuous, okay? So this is how we do it. If we want to say yes, then we have our subject. Subject just means who or what we are talking about. And then we have is or are or am, depends what the subject is. And then we have our base verb and ing. So in the book, for example, we can see this. Who are we talking about? The goats. So the goats is more than one, so we must use are. And then our base verb is swim. So I would say the goats are swimming. Who are we talking about? The goats. More than one must go with our swimming. And notice when we put swimming, there's two M's there. So how do we say yes like that? The goats are swimming, the cats are eating. Okay. How do we say no? Well, to say no, we just use this word not. And we put not after is, are, or am. So we would say the farmer is not reading, or the goats are not swimming. Who are we talking about? The farmer, one farmer, so we must use is, and then our base verb is read, ing. The farmer is reading? No, the farmer is not reading. Okay, and then the third thing we need to be able to do is to make questions. And to make the questions, what we do is we take is, or are, or am, and we put it first. So we start with is, are, or am, then our subject, then our base verb and ing. So we would say, instead of the goats are swimming, to make a question, are the goats swimming? Are the goats swimming? Or instead of? The farmer is reading, we put is first, is the farmer reading? And if our question begins with is, or are, or am, then our answer will always be yes or no. So, are the goats swimming? <coughs> yes, they are, are goats, more than one they, yes they are, or no, they are not, or is the farmer reading, answer will be yes or no, yes, he is, or no, the farmer, he is not. So that's how we do yes, no, and questions. So let's look at student book 79 and here we've got our picture and we've got the questions look is the cow sleeping so find the cow what's it doing okay now one cow is going to be it so we're looking for an answer with it and sleeping yes no the answer is no so we're looking for no it isn't. So that's going to be here, isn't it? No, it is not. One cow is the same as it. Is it sleeping? No, it is not. Second one. Is the sheep running? There it is. There's the sheep. So, one sheep is the same as it. Our answer is going to be yes or no. Is it running? Yes, it is. So here, look, we're going to be there, aren't we? Okay, then we've got three more here. 
Are the horses eating? There's the horses, more than one, so that's going to be they. More than one must be they. Are the ducks playing? Okay, ducks playing. More than one duck, so that's going to be they. Yes, they are. No, they are not. And is the farmer sleeping? One farmer, same as he. So is the farmer, is he sleeping? Yes or no? Uh, and then moving on to workbook 65. Look at the picture again. Are the goats sleeping? Okay, so ah, the answer must be yes or no. The goats is more than one, they. So it's going to be yes they are, no they aren't. What do you think? Is the sheep swimming? There's the sheep. One sheep, it. Yes or no. Are the roosters jumping? Is the farmer reading? Are the hens walking? And then here, look, we need to put in is or are. More than one has to be are. Only one we're going to put is. So see if you can finish those then. So that's student book 79, workbook 65.